Breaking news. Welcome to today's headlines. Leave or risk a war. Bandits issue quit notice to five villages in Plateau State. Leave or risk a war. Bandit. Issue quit notice to five villages in Plato State. To my dear listeners, from wherever you're listening from, please stay tuned as I read today's news. Bandits have issued quit notice to residents of Zabon, Zama. Gideon Duse and Guan show on soldier and Anguan Mangu villages in Wase local government area of Plateau State. According to Daily Trust, residents said marked gunmen stormed the communities and asked them to either leave within five days or risk a war. Obale Pinal, a resident of Pinal, a village 11 km away from Wase, told the publication on Tuesday, June 28, that the government threatened to attack the area, advising them to vacate or face the consequences. He said, Many residents have started trooping to Pinal, and other bigger towns for safety. When contacted, the spokesperson of Operation Safe Haven, Major Ishakutakwa, said he was not aware of the quit notice. Bandits are visued quit notice to residents of Sabon, Zama, Gideon Duse, Anguan Nshohon Soldier. Anguan Yuhana and Anguan Mangu villages in Wase local government area of Plateau State. According to Daily Trust, residents said marked gunmen stormed the communities and asked them to, to either leave within five days or risk a war. Ubale Pinal, a resident of Pinal, a village 11 kilometers away from Wase, told the publication on Tuesday, June 28, that the government threatened to attack the area, advising them to vacate or face the consequences. He said, many residents have started trooping to Pinal and other bigger towns for safety. When contacted, the spokesperson of Operation Safe Haven, Major Ishaku Takwa, said he was not aware of the quit notice. Bandits have visited quit notice to residents of Zab Sabon Zama, Gendin Dusel, and Guan, Shoan Sogja, 
Anguan Yukona and Anguan Mango villages in Wase local government area of Plateau State. According to Daily Trust, residents said masked gunmen stormed the communities and asked them to either leave within five days or risk a war. Obale Pinao, a resident of Pinao, a village 11 kilometers away from Wase, told the publication on Tuesday, June 28, that the government threatened to attack the area, advising them to vacate or face the consequences. He said many residents have started trooping to Pinal and other bigger towns for safety. When contacted, the spokesperson of Operation Safe Avon, Major Ishaku Takwa, said he was not aware of the quiz notice. To my dear listeners, from wherever you're listening from, now we've come to the end of our today's name. And now before I go, um, I'm so surprised and sincerely I am devastated at this. Why would a terrorist of all people, bandit, be threatening a villagers to leave their villages within five days? Whereby we have... Where, 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 whereby we have constitution, whereby we have people, whereby we have government, and there are still some people somewhere who can just stand up and threaten some, some, some particular people to leave a particular ge geographical territory just because they want to rule the place. Can we all see we are no longer safe in this country anymore? So my dear listeners, let's move down to the comment section. The first comment here says they are not bandit. They are, they are full and land grabbers, fully equipped, funded and provided enough protection by this administration. Bandits cannot successfully carry out operations in a country that has an outstanding and well-trained army with modern fighting equipment, like warplanes without being swept away in weeks, let alone years. To my dear listeners, now we've come to the end of our today's news. Please do drop by at the comment section 